Welcome. It's Comic Book Creation Live. It's new comic book day. It's Wednesday. We are drawing Albatross Junction. That's our campaign that's on Indiegogo right now. It is a sci-fi story about a frozen hell on Earth. This is an image from uh, Motor Scotia. People living underneath an iceberg, frozen iceberg. Go and check out the trailer. It's in the description. It's also on the Indiegogo campaign. I'm going to be drawing some pages. I am Anthony Space Windu. And let me show you some of what we're working on here. We've got only a couple more pages to go from issue number one. So I'll be drawing uh, issue number one, page 35. And maybe if I get that done, that's penciling, I might go to inking. Because actually, at page 35 is the last page I have to uh, pencil. I only need to draw like a background and a sp uh, spaceship, Quantum One. So let's get to it. Let me share my drawing pad, share my page 35. But if I get page 35 done, what I'll do is I will get on to inking and when Kevin gets here I'm half of Albatross Junction Kevin's the other half once Kevin gets here he will also be inking uh, pages from issue number one so I, I've penciled all of issue number one and uh, Kevin is penciling issue number two and when you combine those you get volume one that's actually what's on Indiegogo right now uh, it's coming out in June it's going to be the coldest June on record Make sure you're subscribed right here to Comic Book Creation Live and uh, our other channel, Comic Book Creation. We're going to be posting more videos over there, but there's some uh, some music videos like the one we're watching right now. Kind of what we like to draw to, music to draw by. Let's get over there and do it. Do it. I think I can switch this. And Oh, there we go. Wonderful. We do a show on Monday. It's called Mundo Monday. This is the Wednesday show. This is the way it started. Every single Wednesday, you can come by and watch us work on Albatross Junction. It's going to keep going past volume one. We've got plans for issues three and four and five and six. So make sure you come back on Monday. Primal Gamer is here. What's going on, buddy? Supporter from the, from the very get. We appreciate you. What is going on tonight? This foot doesn't look right to me. That foot ain't looking right. One step back, a little bit forward. to do here too is this top part. If I could just adjust this camera better, we might get a better view.
It's like the one way I need this arm to move. It doesn't move. It doesn't move that way. So, all right, we get what we get. Oh, nice. Another movie series uh, I haven't seen from the 80s that Kevin yells at me about. Predator 3. Well, enjoy. I guess you saw Predator 1 and 2. But that that's fun to watch stuff with your dad that you both like. I was able to watch Star Trek with my dad growing up, and uh, he, he loved it. I liked it. And then now I'm uh, growing to love it, and I'm watching all the all the Star Trek series. I'm on uh, Deep Space Nine and I'm on Voyager. I just started Voyager before the weekend, I think. I'm already on season two and it's it's really good. So I think it's better than Deep Space Nine, but I still enjoy them both. I enjoy, I enjoy all the Star Treks. The background I have to do is up at the top, so hopefully the camera can catch what I'm going to do with the background here. I do have my reference points over off to the side, my previous hallways that I've done. So I've got some point of reference for what I'm doing up here. trying to do I'm trying to do some kind of skewed angle so I'm hoping that that works up here skewed hallway view over in Albatross Junction where they are these characters here are up in this frozen facility so that presents some options to put some you know, I don't know how much of this is actually going to show up when I paint when I paint out of the borders. But sometimes I just fill in the entire page. I think if you took into account how much space that was, it'd probably be like 20% of this 11 by 17 that may or may not show up. But at least there's some kind of bleed. want to indicate with some icicles that Donovan here is actually going to move into a place where there's more icicles, more open facility, open to the elements. Looks like the other half of Albatross Junction has arrived. Yeah, man. New shit, new shit. Capital K, Kai's made the Brooklyn kid, baby. Uh, yeah. Check yeah. it. I go get, go get it. it. My soul is full kitted. Fresh kitted. Does it up with matching fitted. Kai the kitty. The Brooklyn kid. What up, man? What's happening? What is the word? Not too much, not too much. Primal is here already. Primal, what's up, man? Oh, his dad's never seen Predator. And you're drunk Predator. while you're doing that, huh? That's that's cool. Yeah, I've never seen it either. I mean, hopefully he can step into the third movie and get it, right? Setting this shit up. 
Yeah, let me know when to pull in your feed and I'll... Uh... I, I mean, I think I got most of it done, man. I, I filled in a lot of the blacks earlier before I left. I went in. I went in. It's looking pretty crazy. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, nice. Look at nuts. Is that the Look same one you're working on right now? Yeah, I'm going to finish it up. Get this one done. Oh, that's, that looks crazy. What the hell is this looking at? This is like a different view. It is looking at. I don't know what the hell is looking at. There we go. There you go, you son of a bitch. Yes. Yeah, ah, you know, so. I know it's the last um show. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, you got something going on. Hold up. You're much better. Much better. Yeah. I noticed that when I put the black down, it kind of makes the the whites look washed out. You see that shit? Washed out, like in, just in your camera view, or yeah, in general? Is it, is it happening for you? Like, like, look. See, like all this gets washed out now. Right when you did that, yeah, is that because yeah. it's still pencils? Uh, it's just something, something about the black paper making. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's no, but it's up. only it only seems to be washing out the pencils, right? No, it washes out everything. Even, oh, even washes like, out everything. Look, look, like you see, you see that's 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 all marked in. Oh right, okay. That's crazy. And something. what the black paper is there to uh, protect it? Well, the black paper is just there so I don't smudge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, you know, just something I noticed. You got any gray paper? <laughs> <laughs> I need white paper, right? Let me see. Let me see. Would white paper work? I think gray, like, my mind's telling me gray paper is the only one that'll work. Gray paper? Gray. Just the color just gray. gray. Gray paper. Let me see. Let me see. Whoa. Violent. <laughs> You're like Amazon. You're like destroyer of books. Just fucking. No time to fuck around, man. Let me see. Let me see. Hey, no. Next effect. thing, they're gonna they're gonna cancel drawing pads because of what might be drawn in them later. Yo, that's. I mean. So hey. buy buy your drawing pads now. But it's gonna be real expensive. <laughs> gonna be real expensive. It's fucking crazy. Like we think all the toxic people are gonna draw evil pictures, so we better uh cancel all those blank pads. It's getting nutty. It's getting nutty, man. Oh this shit this shit sounds like some nineteen nineties club. <laughs> This is the type of shit I could draw to and then like lose my time frame of like what time it is. This music is? And and your like reverb echo makes me feel like I don't know what time it is. <laughs> hey, what's going on with that? The, the fucking mic went back on. There you go. Golden. You gotta get a piece of gum and put it over that mic. Golden. Yeah, I gotta do some shit. I got, I got putty too. I could do that. Got putty putty. Yeah, this is just trippy. It's a trippy soundtrack. You gotta be on shrooms when listening to this. You didn't take yours today? No, nah, not today. I, I, I sent you that text. I told you we're, we're both gonna be on it tonight. In micro dose. No, maxo dose. Macro. Maxo dose. M Mega dose. Forget micro. Maxo dose. That's a name right there. Maxo dose. <laughs> Maxidocious. Maxidocious, goddamn it. So I was thinking, um, don't think, man. Don't we think. could have a, a sequel to Dallas Crime Studio called Miami Crime Studio. It's going to be like, it's going to continue the story. The crime Studios? Yeah, different cities. 
Let's do it. We could have Mundo manage the that like uh, he he could be the managing editor of, of that story storyline. Let's do it. Well, I gotta, I gotta destroy this, this Heineken right here. That I had a long day. Uh, I think you're uh I think you're breaking the rules. Oh. In here we pour whiskey. I got whiskey here too, man. I, I got whiskey here too. I got whiskey on chilled right now. Look. Primal says his dad hasn't actually seen or ha has seen the first two Predators, just not Predator 3. Well, I'm behind that. I haven't seen it. the first two Predators with a shit. The second one with Donald Glover. Donald Glover? Danny Glover. It should be necessary. All right, bud, enjoy the movie. He's going to step out while he watches that movie. What movie are you going to watch? Predator, Predator 3. Which one is Predator 3? I see. I never saw any Predator, so I don't know. Enjoy, Mayo. Primal lives up to his name, bro. Let me tell you, he lives up to his name. Very predatory. Very, very, very primal with him. Enjoy it, man. Let us know what you think next time. Yes, I think sir. he's seen it, but just his dad hasn't seen it. That's how it sounded. He's gonna hang with his pops. Gotta go hang with pops, man. have like drawing ADD right now. I don't know what part I want to go on. <laughs> Yo, did you watch that video by Richard Friend or what? Did you send me a video? No, last show you said you were going to go, you had a video queued up by Richard Friend. I don't recall that. I said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> I said something about Richard Friend last time. Maybe yeah, you're talking yeah, like yeah. more than more than a week ago. No, no, it was, it was it was it was last time. I probably did if I said it. I just because, don't recall. Because um, you know, like you, you weren't really watching any of his videos too much. You know, I was I was watching the videos forever, and you said you found somewhere he's inking um a Silvestri piece. Oh, I did. I did watch that. I don't recall. Like it? I don't recall. It was a uh, Mephisto piece, right? Crazy detail. I don't, I don't re I'm so stupid right now. I don't remember. If I look at my history, like to try to find something, it, it's ridiculous how many videos I watch. Cause like I, I have to like scroll back so far to like hundreds of videos, like every couple of days. It's so crazy. Yeah, yeah. I watch all types of videos. Mark Silvestri. Yo, go ahead. Kick a hot 16 right now. Go. Kick a what? Kick a hot 16. What does that mean? Uh, a rap. <laughs> I'm confused tonight. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> 16 bars, bro. 16 uh. bars. <laughs> Nothing. Making me start to sweat. I don't know. I don't know what you're asking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's crazy i know you got 16 bars if i don't got them yeah i got 157 bars bro, always. we need the type of soundtrack that you could rap to i don't know if you could draw and rap at the same time but no fuck that that should have become a meme. I would be a fucking laughing stock. Oh, I'll get a record deal. Yeah. I wouldn't get doubt this, it. Get this old man a record deal. He sounds like 1995. I had to do a 
a workout like on video to send to Mike, the karate teacher today. And, and so um, I had Nicodemus uh, ninjutsu song playing in the background. So I hope karate teacher notices. Karate teacher. Hope he notices light, that man. cool song. This light is a little sun, bro. I'm telling you, this shit, you need one of these in, in, in your place. Is that battery powered? Battery powered, bro. And what's it, and what's it for? It's good, it's good for the fucking, drum? This was a TriStar before you had a TriStar, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got, I got three strips. Exactly, exactly what you're doing. I think I've seen that in the store before. And I, I usually buy flashlights break, when I see I flashlights. Break my camera right here, man. It's fucked up. That's funny that you say that. I think I told you what happened when I was in college and I had photography class and I I came to class like it, it was photography one. I didn't really know anything, but we had to buy these certain cameras and then you had to go out and take certain pictures. And I came back and you had to develop the pictures in the dark room. And when I came out of the dark room, I showed the professor all the pictures I took. It was all of the sun. <laughs> and she <laughs> And so she yells at me. She says, you're going to destroy your camera. You probably already destroyed it. Oh, my God. I was like, I thought that was the best. Su like, who, whoever thought of that subject matter is the best subject matter you can get. Fucking take pictures of the sun. Did you fuck up the camera or what? I, I don't. I mean, I use it for the rest of, like, you know, multiple semesters. Photography, too. I, I use the same camera. I don't know if it was destroyed. That's funny as hell. I still got my camera that I used. Old ass Fujika. You know, you gotta, uh, you gotta like get those pictures before they're gone. The sun <laughs> is gone. What you gonna do when that happens? Shit. Get some extra quilts. <laughs> you know what I was kind of wishing? Like I'm drawing uh, the back of Dobbs's head yesterday and today. And I was wishing that I'd given him a ponytail from the get. <laughs> like I should have given him like a samurai, yeah. like not, not a samurai style ponytail, but like a... Straight I, Steven Seagal? Mark yes, Seagal? like a Steven Seagal, but like his, his hair would be like Lupo. gray or like blonde. Lupo. Like blonde and gray. I mean, you know, it could, it could, it could still be done, bro. There's not that many panels with them. You just fucking add a ponytail. <laughs> Make him look like an old hippie. Why not? Well, because it's like, it's almost like when would they get a chance to like cut their hair? Why the hell not, man? Yeah, if you ever see Dobbs around, just give him a ponytail. I'm gonna add a little ponytail right here. He's gonna look like fucking the corny one from It, the original It that was on the Waltons. I don't, re I don't recall. I, I, I watched that last year, but I don't remember. If it, if it wasn't um, Jack Tripper, then I don't know. Jack Who Tripper. Was. Yeah, go to Regal Beagle. It's my mark over here. It's my mark over here. Holy shit, man. Holy shit, man. This is the music I Mundo I, I uh I I I pray for Mundo with this music. When I play this music, I'm praying for Mundo. This is the moon. This, this is the music that you use when you commit legape genocide into a spankerchief. Oh my god! <laughs> you, just, you just waste generations of legape babies Holy into shit. a stiff sock. <laughs> <laughs> Trash them up. <laughs> ah. Ah. Holy shit! That was good. Like it's a dull time. It's in the me time. <laughs> hey, what is this, bro? Maybe this music makes me want to give him a ponytail. 
It sounds like the return to innocence, bro. Enigma. I feel like he's um. Yo, I love that song though. I can't <laughs> oh yeah. Song. I love that fucking song. <laughs> return to innocence. It's like a make Dobbs or a retroactive Native American. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. That song was hot. I ain't gonna lie. I like it. Yeah, I was thinking about like uh, the last time I made a video on Space Windu channel. I made I I used this in the background, and I was thinking about making this my uh, just my theme my uh, yeah, like kind of like my regular music for that channel. Like it. Kind of represents like working hard. That's when I think of like, this guy's working hard. This shit makes me want to chop wood. <laughs> uh oh. West Coast Car Jack theme song. Like it. <laughs> Approaching the vehicle. Hiding in the shadow. This shit is cold. Get out the fucking car. And parents, break yourself. Get the fuck up out the core, lady. The second track on that CD is called uh, Dial Up Your Insurance. <laughs> oh, shit. Swap me. Swap me theme song. Dr. Nay. Dr. Nay Productions. Doom, 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 doom. fucking pit pen of the truth man i don't care what nobody says this shit right here yeah you couldn't find those the last time is that one that came in through the order that's no, the same one it's the same old same one same one ever man this motherfucker doesn't run out ever yo you gotta let the man in you gotta let the man in let's see who, who we who do we got who do we got <laughs> What up, what up? There he is. Yo, what up, man? It's what's Mundo. Mundo Lowing in the house. What's up, what's up, what's up? How Broski. you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm feeling all right, bro. Feeling good. How'd you get along yeah. today? Better you, than yesterday, man. You slapped some people, did you backfist them? <laughs> yeah, I kind of pulled the old uh, Mundo trick. You know, got them little, little bird, what do you call them? Those little uh, darts that the um, oh you know, yeah, like, like the whispering ball. whatever. Yeah, there you go, the whispering deals. There you go. <laughs> I laid a bunch of little whispering uh, willows on them, <laughs> and you zapped them with like you you can zap the biggest one with that like disintegrator gun he's got. Yeah, I had to chase one down, man. My my uh, coworkers were laughing at my ass. Chase one down like through the building or like outside. Nah, through the building, dude. <laughs> Did you catch him? Oh, I caught him. I caught him because he was trying to go play. He was trying to go play in the bathroom, like like spit water and shit all over the place. Oh, shit. That so, ain't all he was spitting. <laughs> so, um, I literally ran halfway across the building, catch his ass before he did it. And they were like, damn, Mundo, you're the Flash of Wood. <laughs> They were like, man, this is one for the books. You're gonna be sore tomorrow. Batman, Batman running. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. That's funny, man. Yeah. It was hilarious. 
<laughs> my boss, my uh, my coworker tells my boss, "Oh, you missed it, Mundo, Mundo got this, this, and that." He's yeah, what happened? Mundo won. <laughs> my boss, my boss looks at me. You won. I'm all like, yeah, I won. I beat him to the punch. That's fun. You also got to try out your clothesline move. <laughs> oh, pretty much. It's been a bonus day. You gotta get him in a full Nelson, man. It's got a full yeah. carrier. I was like Bruce Lee. You gotta fight without fighting. That's right. I showed him the art of fighting without fighting. Why is their jaw broken then? Ain't no jaw broken. That's not He's what I heard. In a, He's flo floating in a river. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, shit. His whole life is broke. <laughs> <laughs> His whole life. He ain't under warranty either. <coughs> oh shit. Oh shit, man. How was y'all's day? Long. Long. Long, brother, long. Every day of mine is short. It's only three and a half seconds long. Damn. Is that what she said? Hey. <laughs> 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 That's what she said. She said, you know what? Don't even bother taking your pants off. <laughs> Let's just dry hump this time. It's all the same. <laughs> Let's just talk dirty. Why don't you titillate my imagination? <laughs> <laughs> titillate. Titillate my imagination. Tell me what you would do in your dreams. <laughs> Tell me what you would do if you were good in bed. Oh, I, I know that's easy for space, man. He goes, I'm going to get my lightsaber, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> He's going to be the light of her life, man. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to take you to space, baby girl. Tell me what you would do if my lightsaber wasn't two thousand dollars. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, no, don't touch uh base that's a pretty high price for for a hooker, man. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did all his hookers, man. You know what the funniest way I ever I ever heard hooker like being said was in that movie Monster. Did you ever see that movie Monster? They'd be like, hooking. yeah, hooking. I don't I don't know like I, I it was like I don't know if I could you know say it the same way they said it, but it was great. It would, they would be like hooking, hooking, <laughs> you hooking, uh, you hooking, is you hooking. <laughs> All I got is forty-seven dollars. What could I get? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man! That's too funny. What could oh I my get? gosh! Twenty-seven, thirty-seven. Forty-seven, thirty-seven. Woo! <clears throat> In here. <laughs> oh, whiskey. All right. I think I need to take some cough medicine. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. that, it's time that, for that some call it. That's what you call it? Yeah, cough medicine. Cheers. I need some red nephew. Look, he's drinking out of the bottle, Kev. Out the bottle, bro. I, I got one <laughs> bottle right here. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! I was waiting. Yeah! <laughs> That's how it happens. <laughs> That's how it happens. Oh, uh, my God. In here, we pour whiskey. Mundo doesn't even pour it. Nope. 
He skips the pouring part. That's right. Like when they when they told Mundo to skip the boring part, he thought they said skip the pouring part, so he just went to just straight drinking it. <laughs> <coughs> it's good cough medicine. Clears you up. Hell yeah. It clears you up. I like it. This is some road this is roadhouse theme music. I was, gonna, music I was gonna say maybe this is like Mundo bar music. Right? Yeah, remember um the fuck was it called? The titty twister? Yeah. What's that? He's like, we got white it's pussy, black pussy, tan pussy, <laughs> pussy for a penny. You remember that shit? I don't know. Even what that dog is. pussy. <laughs> it was um it was in uh, what the fuck's the name of that movie, man? With the vampires in in the bar, George Clooney. Oh, oh. Wow. oh I feel like a sucker because I watched this movie a million times, man. Something of night. No, 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 no. Um, shit. Dark. Night, something smelly dark. pussy, clean pussy. Titty Twister. The is Darkness. the name of the bar. Dark, something about it's dark. The name of the bar. Something of darkness. Something dark. There's some dark shit. Yo, I feel stupid as fuck. <laughs> in this movie, man. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies. It's with like yeah. Selma Hayek. It's like some kind of... Yeah, Selma, yeah, Selma Hayek is in it. Um, oh My God, it's almost at like the tip of my tongue. Uh, Army of Darkness? No, no. No. no, no. <laughs> no. Fuck, man. <laughs> you can look it up I'm on so your fucking dark. computer. God it dang it. From dust till dawn. There you go. Dust till dawn. Oh, there you man. go. And even it's even got Danny Trejo in it. That shit was the best, man. But when Cheech, yeah. when Cheech Moran was doing that shit, that shit was hilarious. Yeah. He said, if you find it for less, fuck it. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. He is. Hey, hey you, you know, know he comes... comes He comes where? He comes he comes out there. Yo, is, well, is you know, my hat in the camera when I do this? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, know. but it's not covering it up. It's not covering up. <laughs> covering up what? He comes up to Corpus. Yeah, Chich Marid comes to Corpus quite a bit. That's and crazy. and yeah, I'll tell is. you the reason why is he uh, he does a lot of stuff with art. He uh, he he uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? Uh, he showcases Latino painters and artists. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So he's like a um, he likes to showcase a lot of the people's paintings and stuff. So any any Hispanics and stuff, or or I mean even black people too. But um, all the South Texas native people, he'll come down to Corpus and showcase their paintings and stuff. He's even bought some local paintings and stuff here. That's dope. Yo, does um does he have like a gallery or some shit over there? Like why Corpus? Like why did he why did he yeah. Corpus Christi out of all places? Well, I mean, he uh I think he did he does have like part of the uh, art gallery. The art gallery that's here in Corpus, which is one of the places I'm going to take you to when you come, dude. Um Cheech and Chong. Uh he uh he visits that that art gallery pretty regularly and he um but like I said again what he does is he goes and he showcases all the local talent of, of painters and stuff like that. Um, especially if they're black and Hispanic. And uh, he, he promotes all of their stuff, right? Uh, but he also he also gives money to uh, to the gallery to showcase people's stuff. Cheech. Yeah. Pretty, pretty uh, neat, man. Pretty neat. Yeah, Cheech cool money. Stuff. Sounds cool as fuck. Yeah, dude. That's cool. You know what else is pretty interesting that uh, a lot of his, a lot of his humor that we see in, on TV and stuff with all the yeah. dope and everything, all of that is from stories from his family who are actually in law enforcement. Oh, her? Yeah, but he's a, he's a legit stoner though, right? Because because fucking he's Chong a legit is, yeah he's a stoned. legit stoner, but like yeah. 
Hold up, dude. What? Yep, yep. Okay. 40. At two eight balls and I mean two balls, two zany okay. balls. <clears throat> Give me an eighth. Some <laughs> caps and false stamps and make it into T this time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry about that. The the wife was telling me about she wanted to get a new vehicle, man. So. Uh oh. She wants a Mazda nine two nine from nine. Was she looking at BMW? Yeah, a Denali. <laughs> Whoa. A Denali? Yep. Oh, shit. She's looking at it. Doesn't mean she's going to get it. Denali. But uh, we'll see. You what know what Mundo says to that? Denada. Denada. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what, what happens, you know. Going back to Cheech Marin, though, all of his humor comes from his family who are actually legit law enforcement, dude. So he gets all the stories from his aunt, uncle, parents. Yeah, that's crazy. His dad his dad was law enforcement. Had no clue. Here. <laughs> Already a done deal in here. In here. Yeah, man, you you pretty much darkened a lot of that areas like quick. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is uh this is pretty much it's almost there. It's almost there. It's pretty much there. That's, That's what I was saying. You ain't got much left to do on that one. 97% done, man. I spent like yeah. an hour and a half. <laughs> you sounded so satisfied. What page are you working on, it? I'm still doing 35, but I think I'm close to being done because um, all I got to do is draw the uh, Concordia. Uh huh. Which, Kev, I don't know if I told you, but I I designated the Concordia as Quantum One when uh, Donovan is on it. <laughs> quantum One. All right. Like anything Donovan's on, like it's Quantum One. Quantum One. Oh, oh, so he's like, okay, 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 I got you. So, he, so like, when they're over the radio, they go Quantum One. Like, they, they refer to yeah, him as Quantum One. Right, but, like, the name of the ship is the Concordia, right? Like, it's, like, it's kind of his ship. Like, that's why they took it to um to Albatross, to the facility. So, like, they he can, like, control the tracking of it. But still, he would, like, designate it as Quantum One. But then there's probably some, like, military-style aircraft that he uses and it's designated as quantum one like when he's actually doing maneuvers probably or other things oh mm. shit cool. that's dope i like it i like it i like so, it yeah like i think let me move my image to the middle you'll see i was kind of penciling in the ship in the center there because it's going to go. come up on uh dobbs's like wrist computer holographic imagery of it so it'll also show in the middle panel as they as they talk about that ship Ooh. quantum one oh shit <laughs> all these I left all these little these little details for last it's it's serious as hell. What's that in the um upper left hand corner? That's like more of the um like the drone tanks and not drone clones. Yeah, tank, they'll be like, like I wanna further display more like alien creatures and like tank tanks and experiments and stuff. Nice. Like every everywhere that we can to try to 
you know, because like you you had pointed out that these like hallway pages were like not there's not any action in them at all. So yeah. try to fill it up with like interesting stuff if possible. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's a long walk in this this first issue. Yo, they opened that um that new secret stash up, man. We missed the fucking grand opener. Oh yeah, I saw I saw Gina went. Gina goes everywhere, bro. She's the best that ever did it. Like I almost thought that that was like a wax figure of Kevin Smith, but it was it was it was yeah. um it was him standing next to Gina. No, <laughs> really? Yeah, man, I tried no to life, yeah. I tried to email him about you guys. Get the fuck out of here, for real. I, I did, I did. I tried. I actually. He was on Jesus. that uh, Fat Man show or whatever. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that Fat Man podcast that he's on. And uh, and I tried to get in on, on there and tell him about you guys, but um, I had uh, gotten on his, uh, I don't know if it was his Insta, Instagram or Messenger. It was his Messenger, right? And I messaged him on the Messenger because he had texted me... Uh, Supposedly he had texted me back after finishing up with the uh, podcast because I had liked and and put some kind of like uh, like hey how you guys doing sorry I missed the show and da 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 right while I put on his messenger thing I was all like uh, he was all like hey you can win like two two thousand dollars or something like that right for just joining this and i uh, you know. Uh, I appreciate the offer, but just go ahead and give it, give somebody else the money who could use it. And I'm all like, well, dude, look, I got some buddies of mine in Jersey. They're doing a comic book. So if you're interested, check out Albatross Junction. Yo, that's you know? two, that's two big buzzwords for him. Jersey and comic book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and plus, so, I think once we have it in hand, we could probably go to the store and be like, yo, like, let's push these. And I don't, wouldn't they, won't they put it on their shelves for us? I think so. Yeah, yeah. they should. If they're anything like the old the old store. Yeah, it's fine, man. Appreciate that. Mundo, man. Mundo, you the fucking man, bro. Uh, I I tried, man. I don't know if it you even went through. Man, bro. Mundo's always thinking. I thought of a I thought of a storyline, Mundo, that uh, uh -huh. if it if it ever comes to it, like um, you know, you you know a lot about comics. You've got like a lot of comics like within your reach and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And by the time this happens, you all have been on this show for like years. Well, I, I want to uh, do a like a like a, a comic that you manage, and we're gonna call it um, Dallas Crime Studio. <laughs> it's gonna be like like a murder mystery type of type of comic series. Yeah, and and it's gonna be kind of like if you ever seen the HBO show True Detective. I haven't, some, but I'll like check it some out. kind of vibe like that, like almost like a um, yeah. I always kind of got the feeling in the show that there's like there could almost be like a supernatural element there, like right underneath the surface. Kev, did you feel that way when you watched a, a little bit when they went with that with the uh, the one with Woody Harrelson with the dude was killing killing people? Yeah, almost kinda like he nuts, was like kind of nuts, like super powered or something. Even when you finally get to like meet the guy, he was like a was monster. Weird. Yeah, he was weird. Was, something was off there. But I, I kind of had the idea of like almost the same. Like it would be very difficult to to do. I don't exactly know how to make that come across in the story yet. But but something where like there may be like an underlying supernatural aspect to like a police case. Um, hmm. And now, would the police officer be the supernatural being, or would would the entity that he's going after be the supernatural? I don't so much know yet, just that like I think like something may be involved like that. Like like something is like is like kind of like the evidence isn't making sense, I think, because of some kind of mm -hmm. weird supernatural something's happening. And almost, almost kind of like split second with Rutger I, Hauer. I haven't seen that. Oh, I remember that shit. I remember that shit, bro. That shit was fire. All he ate was chocolate and drank coffee. Yeah, fucking split second. It was with the um the animal, some animal. What the what they call him? The animal, the ripper, whatever the fuck it was. He was yeah. killing motherfuckers. He came back and Rucker Howard was like like he was like the best detective back in the day. There was a, it was a huge flood, so everything was kind of underwater and shit. I remember that movie. That movie's old. Yeah, he just ripped everybody's chest open. Yeah, he was fucked <laughs> up. 
Yeah, that shit was fucked up. That movie was fucked up. And Rucka Howard was he was a man. He was a man. Yeah. The other like difficult thing I think would be to incorporate like another aspect that I want to incorporate into it, which is like some kind I want like to have there be some kind of humor like on the surface, but it's like a real serious it's like a serious but also for it to be like a serious crime type of dramatic mm. story. So I don't know. I don't know if that's Do you got like 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 a little like a, just a tiny bit of humor to fit everything in together? Right, like yeah, like like let's say somebody walks into a store like a seven eleven, like maybe mm -hmm. a girl makes a joke that's like a funny joke, but we're like really we're in a, a serious comic book, right? Or like we're we're in like a murder type of like mystery comic book. So but I, I, I do want that like for people to laugh at the same time, like when not about the oh. case, but about like just life that's happening, you know, surrounding the characters. Yo, the oh, comic almost... I want to make is the uh -huh. Count of Corpus Christi. <laughs> that's it. So we need right there. Does it th does it take place in present time? No. What is it? Oh, where does it goodness. take place? It's like eighteen fifty. It's like the Count of Monte Cristo, but it's the Count of Corpus Christi. <laughs> yeah. That's that'd be funny. Fire. That'd be fire. Yeah, it would be fire. I'm I'm thinking kind of like Sin City meets uh, Inspector Gadget. How about that? Not as well. Hey, what you just described sounds like that movie that um Denzel Washington did. Remember with the he was going against that spirit. Uh, um, I don't know you about remember that, that movie. One. That shit was okay. called. Uh, was you know it what called I'm like, about, Well, like I saw a movie in the theater. I think it was Denzel. It was a weird one. It was it was called The Bone Collector. It was like no, no, no. Movie. That was that was that was wild. That, that was, was good too. One. But this one, I'm, the one I'm thinking about is the one where he was literally going against the spirit, and, and all the spirit would pass from person to person by touch. So remember there was that one scene when he's on a busy street and he was like tapping to somebody and being that one person and he always sang that Rolling Stone song, Time is on your side. Oh. Oh shit. I don't even know the name of that movie, but I think I know what you're talking about. The movie was fire. But it's like it's like a it's kinda like it could be kinda like what you're talking about. And yeah. remember um that uh, that old ass movie with um with uh what uh, what uh, what uh, what uh, what the fuck is that dude's name? He's like uh he was an Indian in Young Guns. And he went up against that. It was like the seventh power or something power. Oh, yeah. Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. Remember he was a cop. And he it was, was the first power. Actually, it was the first, the first power. power. That shit was fire. Yeah. That was like some supernatural shit, too. So, yeah, it's, it's, time, yeah. it's time for some like police supernatural shit going on. I they think haven't done so. that in a while. They haven't done yeah. that in a while. But you know what? Now that we said it, that shit is going to be released summer. No, summer we're, we're going to do it. <laughs> summer well, it's, 2021. It's always going to be where there's the similar ideas but no, no one's gonna have precisely uh dallas crime studio we got a couple did y'all ever watch uh uh what was it uh yu yu hakushu what the hell is that bro God you bless watch you. wait a minute wait a minute kevin you watch anime and you don't know what the fuck yu yu hakushu is god bless you no are you <laughs> i don't know what that is bro oh my god you, you, oh my god. I gotta yeah. look that up. You, you, Hakachu? You, you, Hakachu, yeah. He's you, actually, you, okay. He's a young high school kid, okay? He gets, I don't know if he gets murdered or he gets killed. He dies. He, some kind of death, right? Okay. And he comes back as a spirit detective, basically. So he inherits these powers. Right? Okay. And and he has to literally start uh, finding these demons and bring them to basically take them back to hell through his powers. But he can see like all these demons and stuff, but where where nobody else could see the demons. But he's still in human form, even though he's a spirit, right? You you how could you? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Gotta check it out. Gotta you're you're into that. anime. You're yeah, gonna yeah. I, watch, I watch all that silly shit, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Nah, you, you're gonna like it, bro. You're gonna like it. You you. I, ga you. I guarantee. I guarantee. I'm gonna check that shit out. Definitely. 
Yu Yu Hakachu. I just like saying the name now. <laughs> I'll be sounds like, right back, guys. Sounds like a chocolate bar. I'll still be I'll still be on the uh y'all be able to hear me, but I'll be right back. Yeah, don't say that too personal, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> My daughters are home from just got home, so I'm gonna give them a hug in case I'm oh, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm still on guys, but so that's what I just added to that. So everything is I mean, oh. lunch with them. Give them the keys oh, okay. to that new Denali. Cool. Everything's a massive. We're going Not to my yet. mom's house. We inherited my mom's pictures and all that. Oh, right. Oh, she passed away. So right. it was fine. I'm on with the guys right now. Oh, okay. Have fun. Okay. We'll see you guys. Yeah, I'm, 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 I
Man, wanna, you uh, really wipe me off the show. I want a, I want a, I want a bacon, egg, and cheese with a fucking mini pancake smacked in the middle of that motherfucker. Oh, that sounds pretty good. Does it have syrup embedded in it? Like, like with a syringe, like. Oh. Put the syrup in oh. that bitch. That should be amazing. Well, I would be amazing, right? You want some of that? You how want about? It. Um, I know you want it. This is kind of gross. Like, how about like uh, you know a jelly donut? Well, picture like um. A, a, a jelly donut, but it's like those are the bun to a sandwich. Oh, man, that that's good? too much. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, kind of, that's nah, too I can't. I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. <laughs> that's too much, bro. That's too much. <laughs> Sheesh. You can find. Let, let would, I would say if you can find me a sugarless, diabetic friendly. Donut. No, <laughs> no, no such thing as like diabetic friendly. Diabetic friendly cheeseburger can't be delicious. Yo, you know what they had out here one time? It was like the fat bastard special. I, I don't know if they had it in Texas. But <laughs> my, hey, remember, remember that cheeseburger they made with the buns with grilled cheeses? Yeah, they had it at the friendlies. <laughs> yo, oh, yeah. it was yo, that was fucked I don't up. Know if the you guys have the grilled cheese and the grilled there. cheese. No, we don't have sandwich. friendlies here, but yeah. They have something like that here in Corpus. That was the fat bastard. <laughs> that was the clogged artery special right there. Like, how do you eat that and fries? Oh, man, you can't. If, if, if you're older you're than not... 19, you, you can't do it. Mm -mm. That's just a heart attack waiting to happen. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that shit is fucked up. <clears throat> that shit is fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Oh. That's yeah. fucked up. Oh. <laughs> I like this little slow track. It sounds like some yeah, not bad. cyberpunk Miami Vice. Maybe not this is part of a uh, Miami crime studio. Oh, there you go. Where'd you get the name from, though? Crime Studio. Why I don't know. Studio? I don't know. It just came to me while I was sitting like, where's here. Where'd the studio come from? <laughs> Maybe I'm not because I'm in an art studio. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> like, could it could it could it be like some cyberpunk shit? Where yeah, like, like honestly, I thought of the like like what the logo might look like. I was thinking you would make the logo, Kevin. It would be so fucking rad that like I can barely assimilate what it would look like, but it would it would kind of look like um. Like, for instance, if it was Dallas Crime Studio, the word Dallas would be a different Neon. way. No, it would. I mean, it could be whatever, but it would be maybe different than what the Miami one would look like. Mm -hmm. um, but I kind of just pictured those words like stacked. So it'd be like Dallas Crime Studio, but you'd have different fonts and yeah, like different effects. But I would have you do it because I think you would come up with a fucking rad logo. Appreciate your fucking... Faith in my skills, sir. Oh yeah, Kevin's like the one of the number one, well, or the number one artist I know, probably. <laughs> oh yeah. In that's how life. he keeps. That's how he keeps pumping free shit out of me, bro, with the compliments. Kev, Kev is fantastic. Matter of fact, Kev, can you redo my personal <laughs> logo on business cards? Well, <laughs> <laughs> like, no, eh? it, it's funny that you mentioned Dallas because I'm gonna be a Dallas dad here pretty soon what does that mean well my daughter got accepted. oh oh oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah that's right that's right so now when uh so next month man uh orientation and everything that's crazy bro how long is that drive for you or how long is that trip yeah it's been about four hours it's not it's not too horrible mm -mm. but it's horrible enough not too bad. yeah not too bad I guess it's far enough for her where, where you guys... You I know, had to drive two and a half way. hours today, man. And that yeah. shit was fucking horrific. That shit was tragic. Tragic, bro. It was a tragedy, bro. Five hours in a car. Go are, you like, are you like jittery? Me? Yeah, from driving all that distance. No, I could, I could, I could drive the distance, no problem, man. It was just, it was just, it was just fucking crazy. It was just crazy. What is this guy saying in this song? You sound white boy. 
Sam <laughs> White guess. Boy. That's what I thought he said. But I didn't want. I didn't want to say it before I heard it again. <laughs> Damn. The fuck? I like that pick right there. That ain't a bad pick. You sound white, boy. <laughs> Pikeburg. Is that Pikeburg? That is Motor Scotia. That's Motor Scotia. Motor Scotia. Okay. I got to get some of my terminology down here. Or places. Excuse me, places. Mundo in the story would never encounter that place, probably. Mundo yeah. just stays at Pikeburg. I mean, is this? it's not really known what's going on with this with this iceberg, though, right? Like, it's not like common knowledge. You mean in the rest of the Albatross Junction, like, world? Yeah, like, they don't just know, like, people. Like, are, I in, think in most city. people don't even know that, that that exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, how I, that's how I take it. Like, these people got it made, kind of. They, they surface when they need to, and they just fucking... They're, they're still like, fishing, the only you know, ones man? with, like, fresh food, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they got it made. They, they, they like, alone. didn't need Donovan's food. They don't need Donovan for shit. Oh. I like it. So, I like it. So they're, like, special privy people. Like, they're yeah, trying they to it. stay secret. They, they're, like, like, they're like a frozen Wakanda, yo. You know what I'm saying? Minus all the time. <laughs> frozen Wakanda, there you go. It's a fucking... Yeah, because I don't. Well, I, unlike Wakanda, like you know how Wakanda can like defend itself, kind of. I think yeah. like this place probably can't. I, no, I, they, I mean they're like Moana meets Wakanda. Oh, yeah. okay. So Wakanda. And that's Moana why they're so Wanda. secretive. Like nobody knows where the fuck they are. So. Yeah, because they're, they're like old and tribal. They don't want any problems. But what they have a pretty sweet fucking setup, man. Where they're deep sea diving and shit like that. Like it's actually warmer where they are than anywhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how are how are they gonna solve like when like disputes and shit? Well, they don't they don't really have any. They just mind their fucking business. Oh really? They're you talking about like bro. disputes within their own place? Yeah, within their own community. Oh 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 oh! Never really thought about that one. But I don't I don't I, I mean I feel like they just they run a tight ship. Well, I'm pretty sure they do, but you're not going to have... I mean, you know, no societies without any... I mean, if somebody acts up, you just get kicked the fuck out, right? Like, now, go ahead. Go live up top. There you That's a horrible threat. Yeah. That's a horrible threat. Nobody wants that, that is shit. That is bad. But then, no, but then they could risk um, out, Being, out, like, outing them, right? So maybe they don't yeah. want to do that. Maybe like if you maybe, act up, like you, you kind of um, have a, uh, a scuba diving accident. Think? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm joking. But or it I could didn't... be like a solitary thing where, um, you know how we got those pods off to the side? Maybe you just on that little fucking pod. That's it. Or like, remember in Game of Thrones, um, the uh, they would put Tyrion like in uh, on the ledge up really high on a mountain, mm -hmm. and like if he rolled over, he would like die. Yeah, shit was crazy. Because they use their location on the mountain to like torture people plus to defend themselves. So maybe they like put them on the iceberg and they're like, here, fucking, it's cold as fuck. I don't know. Oh, that'd be fucked up. Well, <clears throat> here's a thought. Like maybe they'll put him in this one little area to live, but all their nanotechnology starts disappearing and dying off. And then they like slowly freeze. That would be terrible. I just thought of a great name because of what Mundo said. Um, but not for like a person in this comic, but like a real person that you could name like your son or something if you ever have another kid. But I mean, no, you, you guys wouldn't do it because you aren't like stupid like this. But this would be a good name for someone stupid. Um, some like stupid parent who wants like a cool name. Uh, Nano. <laughs> Like, like you name your kid Nano. Nano. That would catch on, I think. I would catch on. I'm sure there probably is a kid named Nano out there. Like you would have like 18 kids the second year after naming your kid after t after telling all your friends your kid was named Nano, they'd be like, "So they got that. my kid's gonna be named Nano." Nano. No, and then his kid's gonna be Neo. So you got <laughs> yeah, Nano yeah. and Neo. <laughs> one's taking the red pill, the other one's taking the green. Now, which one are you, motherfucker? <laughs> Nano and Neo. How to work? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nano, twin. Nano. The twins, Nano and Neo. 
Yeah. Oh, you got a picture in the picture going here. That's pretty. You just, what, I, <laughs> I, oh, that's not live. I thought that was live. I'm drawing Kevin's profile. No. <laughs> I thought that was live. I look crazy. The sun is gone. The sun is gone. El sol. All right. Se fue. I'll be. I'll be right back. Go. Mr. Kevin, <laughs> Mr. Kevin, my check. <laughs> you know, pay. <laughs> oh, So what's your uh, what's going to be your plan for your next trip? Well, in December or January, well, probably December, I'll go to Florida again. But uh -huh. somewhere in between now and then, I'll go somewhere else. Maybe Maine. Maine was really good. Maine. And Maine yeah. would probably have like almost no rules right now. Like, I, I bet you Maine doesn't give a fuck about anything. Because <laughs> that's how it seemed when I was there. Harris is pretty close to Maine, isn't he? Harris is only like an hour away from me in uh, PA. Yeah. How's he, he doing, got... by the way? I, I meant to call him earlier. I didn't give him a call. So I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a few days. I've seen he posted a few things on Facebook. Seems like he's doing pretty <coughs> pretty decent. He's um, He's gotten some stuff on from like the old days, I guess, with the band. Oh, yeah. TK is here. Team to the mother. Hey! Oh. Oh. What's going on, TK? Hope you're doing well. Thanks Steps for being up. here tonight. Yeah, boy. Hoping you get better, man. Many prayers to you, brother. We are out of tunes. Ah, oh, no. No, say is it so. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Is this another one? We are strong. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Primo ain't on right now either. Oh, he went to go watch a movie. He oh, was yeah? Here, he was here earlier. Ah, before I got home, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I think he's a bit young. I think he's like 18 or 19, yeah. In college. Yeah, or he's, he's a young and spring chicken still. It's spring break for a lot of people right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh, what'd you do? I started a, a wrong video. Let me go back. <laughs> <laughs> Studio, is that it? Oh, um, I picked up uh, some extra, um, uh, what do you call it? Speakers. So I may send oh, you, you one or two. Yeah, I may send you one or two, man. Nice. What are are they? New ones that you're trying out? No, well, they're not necessarily new. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like they're a new, new type but... that you're trying out or something. I got them off of Amazon, so um, they actually work pretty decent. Uh, I've only I've only used one, and they are really pretty awesome. They are they are 
Let's see. Eight ohm, two watt speakers. Awesome. That's perfect. Look, let's see. There you go. You can see that. One sec. Let me, uh, where's my mouse? Oops. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> Couldn't hold on to it. <laughs> there we go. Eight ohm, two watt lightsaber speaker. Oh, those are, uh, those are like thin. I like those. Yeah, they're pretty thin. Let's see if I can. You say it said two watt on there? Yeah, two oh, watt cool. eight ohm. Oh, awesome. Two. Yeah, and I got these off of Amazon, man. So, those might work really good because there's, there's old speakers that look like that that like screamed. They were really good. Oh, uh, let me see. I have maybe they're in this drawer right here. So, yeah. So, looky here. <clears throat> so I may send you a couple of those. See how many I got there. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Oh shit, Primal's back. Movie's over. What up? Oh, what up? TK's Primal. alive and well. Good to hear, brother man. It's always a plus. Always a plus. How you feeling though? Yeah. How are you feeling right now in this very moment, brother man? Yo, how'd you like the movie, Primal? What do you go see? Oh, I saw I saw Predators. Yeah, yeah, with the big one. They, they had the fucking humongous Predator. That was all right. That was all right. Oh, uh, yeah. That was pretty decent. That was it wicked. Was all right. I don't know how my guy TK's feeling tonight, though, man. How's he feeling? Did he answer that question yet? No, he didn't. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting there. Because all about it's all about how you feeling now, man. How you feeling at the moment? Predators. Predators was all right. That's what to do with the big nose. Yeah. With the schnoz. Big nose Legapa. <laughs> big nose. That's a real yo, that's that's a real thing though. You had a real gangster in your family, bro. That's not even that's not, like I wouldn't I wouldn't ever tell Big Nose the Gaper like he looked funny through his face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Charlie Big Nose. Legapa. Yeah, and, and ancestry.com profile came back showing that he had a fucking real life gangster, like from back in the days. Like Damn. Godfather two times. Big nose. Yeah, like, the had, like a like a newspaper clipping. He got shot in a in a car. And he was just Damn. like he got murdered dead. and shit. Big nose Legapa. Wow. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, bro. The ancestors were real. Like a great 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 uncle or some shit like that, right? Something, yeah. Something like nineteen twenty one. Oh, yeah. so you're just a fucking great uncle, not a great great great, just a great uncle who was just shooting shit up with a Tommy gun. Got moited. Moited. World's first drive by. He worked for Dutch Schultz. <laughs> World's first Tommy gun drive by. That's what we're most proud of. Wow. On the on the losing on the acceptance side of the lead. <laughs> <laughs> the acceptance side of the letter week. Uh, oh, that's what's up. That's what up. Pop yeah, up. I like it. Yeah. TK wants to play some paintball. I would love to play some paintball. Yeah, I'll fuck. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. That shit quick, hurts, man. bro. That's I don't. I don't talk. I talk a lot of shit now. I talk a, like like Mundo. If you say, "Yo, you want to play high lie?" I never played high lie in my life. I'm like, I'm a fucking. I'm, I'm a killer at high lie. I'm a bust your ass at high lie. That's just. That's, I just want to get in your head. But when it comes to paintball, bro, I fuck shit up. Paintball, bro. I, I kill everybody. I kill everybody. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a paintball killer. I'm not lying to you. If we ever but what get do you do? Go, do you like hide behind one of them? Trees I don't. I don't hide don't behind. Move, or do I you fucking, roll around? I, Yo, bro, I'm I'm fucking insane at paintball. I'm not even fast. I'm a big, I'm a big like little, you know, slightly overweight dude. I'm slow, but my aim is. Just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, gada, gada, I'm, and everybody just gets hit, bro. Everybody, everybody just gets hit. They gotta, they gotta wave out. Oh, hit, hit. Actually, your <laughs> yeah, your aim me. is pretty good for like real guns. So maybe the paintball. Yeah, gun yeah, yeah. yeah. We went to the range together. I get a little crazy with the shotguns and all that other shit. <laughs> yo, I hit, yo, I hit, yo, I just, I just hit what I aim at all the time. I swear to God, it's just, just, 
boom, and I, just, I hit motherfuckers. It's crazy. I hit people in their hands and their face, and I'm, I'm like, I'm a bastard with it too. Like, I want to hit your fingers because your fingers are exposed. So I'm not, like, it's like, you know that you aim small, you miss small, but like a lot of times I'm, I'm shooting at you straight on, so I miss your fingers. I'm just hitting the bit, the, the mass. I'm hitting your, your set of mass. Yeah. And I know Mundo's looking at me like everybody says that shit. Everybody says that shit. No, 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 well, I thought I thought no, I was gonna no, go not to the range. Like, I thought I was gonna that? go to the range and like be so good at it that people were gonna come up to me and be like, "We want to like sign you for some kind of like shooting gallery." We want to sign you for Team Glock. <laughs> <laughs> but then I actually go there and I couldn't hit shit. Yeah, man. The, my, the first time practice, to my outdoor bro. range, I couldn't. I couldn't hit shit in the outdoor range at twenty five. What was it? Twenty five yards. Not twenty five yards. Was it? What was it? Twenty five. How far was it? Aunt? I, I thought it was twenty five yards. But you was were hitting them, and yards? I wasn't. I wasn't hitting them. But at first, my first, my first whole magazine, I didn't hit shit. And I thought the first one was gonna be like a ding. I was like, oh, like, like, yeah. I, I, like I, I loaded <laughs> really? it. Really? I was, I was like, like, watch this. Like, like, I had a dumb face. Like, hey, watch this. I fucking, I aimed nothing. I was like, what? I was like, what? what? Yeah, like I, I didn't hear anything, nothing. and it was, it was, it was metal targets, and I, I wasn't hearing anything for myself like, either. What the fuck? And then I thought something was wrong, but the guy who were, who we were with, our friend, is really good at it, and all we kept hearing from him was kerplink, kerplink, kerplink. No, no, hold on. Let, let, I was let, like, let me, let me, hold on. Oh, I guess it Yo, works. Mundo, the fucking guy who took us there, yeah, is like a retired Kentucky cop who has been about you know gun culture his whole life. He yeah. had all the hand me downs. He's like a registered fucking gunsmith for like pretty much every band brand. So like if you have a Glock and yeah. it, it's fucked up, you go to his house and he'll he can oh, he's an official Glock fucking person. If you have yeah, a Smith that. and Weston, he's an official Smith. He like he like he you know he makes his own like he's no joke. So yeah. and he's holding it, he's standing there with his holster just standing there and shit like that. And like he's like, he's like, Yeah, you guys gotta do this. And he talks like King of the Hill a little bit. He's like, Well, <laughs> you guys gotta do this and blah 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 blah. <laughs> And then he fucking and his favorite pistol is a um a Glock twenty six, oh, so he wow. pulls no, that I little it was shit Glock out. Glock nineteen, Glock twenty six. 26. Yeah, he likes a little twenty six. So he pulls out the twenty six and he's just he takes like two seconds. You know, he he adjusts his grip. Yeah. And then it's just ping, 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 ping. I'm like, yo, he is crazy. And they all just you just see them all just waving down the line. I'm like, yo, this guy's an ant. Like he's a beast. He's a he's a beast. Yeah. He just makes you. He just made us feel real fucking stupid. And then he was taking our pistols and be like, "Yo, let me see how. Let me see how your sights are." So he picked my shit up. He's like, yeah. "Oh, it fit. And, he's, and he's like, "Oh, well, Kevin, it feels good." He said, "Bing." I was like, "Yo, give me my shit back, man. Don't don't, don't shoot my shit no more. <laughs> don't shoot my shit no more, man. Get out of here." <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. He was no joke, man. He was no joke. He was no fucking joke. That dude is no joke. Yeah, you gotta line up sights like really good on those things. Cause... Yeah, well, my um, my Sig Sauer was so it's off. off. Yeah, it was he off. He said it was like a foot oh, yeah. at twenty five. Is it feet or yards, Kev? Yards. It had to be yards. Yeah, it was yards. So twenty five yards. Off. He said my uh my sights 20... were like a foot off. Whoa, oh, wow. isn't that crazy? Twelve inches away from where you're trying to hit. No, oh, yeah, wow. it was going low. Like you'd be aiming at the at at the at the target, and you'll see it hit the dirt underneath. Like yo, but, yeah. but way off. he actually couldn't. How long ago was this? About that one? This was like four years ago, probably. Oh, four years. Maybe five years ago. He, wow. um, yeah, Kev. I think it was 2016, to be quite honest. Nah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Do you remember when we were coming home from that place and when we had to go we up on the grass? Shit, we almost to fucking died. Avoid an uh, accident. It was crazy. How does your memory say that that happened? Do you think that well, was like something I just, I, took, I, just I just took your fucking word for it. all I know. I'm in the passenger seat, just hanging out, talking about how crazy Ken was shooting. And then you just you just went up on the grass going like 80 miles. And I was like, yo, this fucking guy was going to ram us from the back. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? We almost died just there. And I was you, you, and I just took your word for it, bro. I just took your word for it. I didn't see anything that happened. I'm just like, Ant knows what he's doing. If you guys want to go uh, target practice here in Corpus, man, I'll take you to a place called Stories. And it's 10 bucks to go shoot, man. Ten bucks, yo! If you knew the prices down here that we got to pay, it's 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 it's, it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked. Oh, like if you, if you get a box of rounds, if you get a box of rounds, and a lane for an hour, you could you could easily spend like sixty bucks. But actually, yeah. like we had it so good that when Ken brought us, he even got all our rounds for us. He like yeah yeah us yeah he, yeah yeah he had a he had a he had an ammo box that was full of like two thousand rounds that he made himself through the years. He's like yo, just don't use your ammo, use mine. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, you are fucking amazing. 
He was amazing, <laughs> yo. Uh, Primal says, never played paintball, but I have played airsoft. Yeah. It's is, the same it's, shit. Yeah, it's the same wait, shit. Is, um, it's, airsoft, you're trying to hit each other? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's straight up oh, war. Okay. With the it, I guess it's the same pellet. thing, then. It's the same shit, pretty much. It, it is the same thing, but the airsoft doesn't hurt like the fucking paintballs. Well, yeah, the paintball, paintball like, see, um, I, I'm like, I, I mean, I'm thinking I was even skinnier back then, but I'm like naturally pretty skinny. Now, when they gave you that uh overalls to wear right they give me like such a big overalls or like such a big thing to wear that it was so baggy when i got shot i didn't even know like there was like referees who was like you're out you're you're shot and i was like what and they're like you've been shot twice and i was like what like i, I didn't feel it because nah, like it's yeah. so bad your adrenaline is going too even though it's paintball your adrenaline is fucking high but like it's, it feels like real fucking bullets are coming at you it, it, yeah. it didn't like it didn't i didn't feel anything touch me but i guess it exploded on the fabric of the overalls or whatever yeah, yeah. people was dope man i love that oh no, man when i got hit with that shit i had welts for several days on my oh yeah yeah yeah. I, I go home looking oh. like i just got fucking like boils all over my body that's what people told yeah. me would happen but like i kept getting shot like there was one kid who had a um he had a backpack full of paintballs and this automatic gun. Now, I don't know why he was allowed to be in like in our in our like novice group, but he was like rat tat 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 like just like uh, then a backpack full of fucking bullets. I was like, oh my god, how do you get past this guy? <laughs> so I, I remember um one time back in the day we went out to skirmish, it was like a really big spot out in Pennsylvania, and like my That's team, me, was, my boys, yeah. me and my boys were doing really good. Right, so at the end of the day, there was like a team there just sit, sitting in like in the lot. And um, the per the, the other team that was supposed to play kind of like did, didn't show. They were like, "Yo, you boys want to like go out and just like have a round with us?" And we're like, "Yo, why you guys all match? Like you a team? Whatever the fuck." They were like, "Yeah, we play for whatever the fuck team." And like we like we've been winning all this. We cocky. We're like, "Yeah, fuck these. Let's go fuck. <laughs> let's go fuck these assholes up." So they blew the whistle. Yo, as soon as they blew the whistle, everybody was like, I was, "I was like, yo, how do we, we we died. We we lost in like twenty seven seconds. It was crazy." It was crazy. It was fucked up, and they were telling us all they do, all all like those like um those teams do is they cross they all crossfire. You know what I mean? So if I'm standing far right, I'm I'm aiming at like you know far left across the field diagonally, and that's what they all do. So like while your opposing team is running at you aiming straight, they don't see who they're getting shot at over here. You know what I mean? And they they just fucking you know, they took us out in less than half a minute. It was crazy. It was embarrassing as fuck. We just and I was like, what well, we went home on that note. I was like, yo, that sucks, bro. Like we were having a good day, and now we just fucking got murdered. <laughs> Murdered by motherfuckers that were matching shirts on. That shit was crazy. It was fun though. It was fun. It was fun as hell. That's cool. cool. You know what? I probably. You know what? I'm never gonna go fucking paintballing again, bro. Cause I damn near. Old. I damn near. I damn near broke my foot walking. What is walking? Right. Damn near fucking. <laughs> uh, I, I I fucked both my shoulders up just in my sleep. Like what the fuck? Like what? Yeah, but you know what? Like maybe if your if your son got to be like what? Like how old would he have to be? Fourteen or or could he be younger? Like could he be ten or twelve to go paintball and, and say that he wants to go? I mean, mm. you'd go, right? I, yeah, I would I go, and now I would like to... take that shit serious. Like yo, my I think boy, it has uh... to be sixteen. I think they have to be a minimum of sixteen. Is it? Yeah, because oh, that shit's okay. pretty serious, man. Yeah, like, because. Like my little the, eight-year-old takes his goggles off because his eye itches, gets his shit just blown up. You know what I mean? That's yeah, I, I think because of the safety factor, they have to be at least sixteen on up. That was a lot of fun, though. Your feelings at the Dad, door. Man. Ooh. Dad, <laughs> I got a question. Uh oh, daughter's, daughter's got a question. Give me five bucks for this. Huh? <laughs> She's gonna give me. She can't even get it out without peeing herself. Oh my god! She has great What? The fuck? Are you guys hearing this shit? Are you all hearing this shit? Oh, they all fire right now. Oh my god! No, I wanted five bucks. Are they or not? What are you talking about? Shrubbery! <laughs> are you seriously really doing this right now? <laughs> I didn't tell them to do it. Money wasn't involved! Well, uh, no. There's no money. It's going towards your phone. Shit. <laughs> she told us if we asked her, I, 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 I 
<laughs> do you guys mind? Really? <laughs> Jesus. Are you, are you for real? <laughs> You do realize I'm still on, yes, right? The family care. He was saying he was too manscaping and he found a gray hair down south. Oh my god. <laughs> and then he was like, Oh, it's gray. Like, oh, my god. They're they're so talking they about asked. this stupid show called Chris Lee Knows Best. I don't know if y'all so know. Right? He got a he got a gray pube. Yeah. Five bucks. I bet you five bucks to ever ask your dad. Oh my <laughs> god. So now <laughs> Seriously, I don't, I don't care to know the answer. I just wanted the money. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> so he's like, I don't know. <laughs> so my eighteen-year-old over here trying to scam money. Out of you or out of some somebody online? No, no, me, me. Great pubes, bro. What happens? Yeah, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> if I tell her yes, bro, she gets a five, whatever, however much Mama told her. Is that what it? I couldn't hear that. Is she was asking you yeah. for gray pubes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the first thing she said. Dad, real quick question: You got gray pubes? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! He's like, what? That's the first time I heard Mundo say, "What the fuck?" He was kidding. What the fuck? Oh my god! Hey man, they keep it exciting, bro. Yeah, well. No one it's in that one house for the, is gonna ask. It's you. one for the books, right, Space? No one's you gonna ask. You got gray, gray pubes once they leave. My God, and yeah, we probably lost half the audience now, man. <laughs> no, nah, I think we gained like fourteen. Many gained somebody. Like oh, yeah, we did. Pubes. I remember. They, they think wood, Mundo right? might undress. Oh my God. Do, 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 do. My friend Yo, built Ed, a wooden do, riot do. shield for airsoft, and then my other friend three D printed his grip. For his gun, they take it very seriously. Yeah, it take it that must shit be like serious as hell. the comic Damn. or the uh, the uh, lightsaber world. That shit is war for real for them. Wow, yeah. I never did that. Yeah, yeah, bullshit, it doesn't hurt. My buddy had welts for weeks. Yeah, I, I had welts for weeks for air, airsoft. No, nah, the first time I went paintballing, I didn't have enough clothes on. I had I didn't have shit on, and like they were like, "Yo, you should rent this overall." I was like, "I don't need that shit." Like I got I got a sweater on. Fuck them overall. Oh, I thought we had to wear the overall. <laughs> yeah, that shit hit. Them shit. I got hit a few times. I was like, "Oh!" Like I let out like a real fucking six of five. Like, oh! and I fucking. I Could down, I like, have the them. overalls now, please? I was like, "Can I please have two pairs of coveralls, please, ma'am?" Please. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving here. I'm leaving here with only one testicle. Yo, it's it. the least you can do. Yo, with the gray shit, pube, that shit hurt. With the gray pube. One testicle and a thousand gray pubes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you can tell my life ain't boring, bro. <laughs> that shit was funny. You have to take Dude, shots yo. for having gray pubes. I do. Yo, shout out to all the gray pubes out there, man. Right? Yeah. Shout that sounds like that sounds like a uh, octogenarian gang, bro. The gray pubes. <laughs> what up? So <laughs> you got the Manfredos and the gray pubes fighting. The gray pubes, bro. They're all eighty year olds. Yeah, that's funny. So. The GPs. GPs, the GPs on set. Oh my goodness, that is too funny. <laughs> Primal says you could literally walk out there with a tank top and shorts. They don't care as long as you, you don't, don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Oh yeah. Wow, this is definitely like um the music they play when you get like uh serious. This is the music they play when you get fucking uh what's that shit called when they put the pins in you and shit? Uh acupuncture? Yeah, this is acupuncture music. I thought you were gonna say it's like they give you heart surgery. No, nah, man, fuck <laughs> all that. Nah, I'm not fucking with that. Damn, I don't even want to think about that. Heart mm -hmm. surgery. This, this is, is what the doctor is listening to. <laughs> All right, I've had lots of friends that I've already had heart surgery, man. It's yeah, my crazy. boy had a triple bypass. He's younger than me. Ain't that silly, man? Shit Too young. Crazy. 
too young. That shit is crazy. Triple bypass. What the fuck? Kev, if you were like on the operating table and you went, but you were in another world and then they took you out of the anesthesia and were like, okay, we're done, but you were living like on Nhinga the whole time and you were just like, you were like a, you were like a, like a, like a king of Nhinga and you were like a pharaoh <laughs> and it was like a great life where your, your, your skin was so oh. tough and your uh, physique was so lean and you were like the, you were the pharaoh. You, everyone served you. Um, what would you, you would you want to go back? Like, put no, me back I'll try under. To, I'll try to bring some some folks with me over there. How? Like, hold How on, can I that? go pick? Can I go pick somebody up? <laughs> like, please, Miss Mister Technological Alien, allow me this one thing. That'll be it. <laughs> and maybe by taking some kind of like in hanging drug. Be fire. Yo, next show we're all gonna drink peyote live. <laughs> on YouTube. Oh shit! Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Uh, that'll be a hilarious show. Let's just see what happens. Peyote. Remember that shit on Young Guns? Doesn't peyote this, last this, for three? This days. The second you can time do I brought like up Young Guns show. today. It was it, it last three days. Peyote. I think yeah. so. I don't know. So you you want to do like a the closeout party for Albatross Junction Indiegogo like on peyote? Oh, peyote. Just bro. do like a three day closing closing it out party. On oh, peyote. You can like poop yourself while you sit there drawing. Just don't mix up that with ink. <laughs> so good. You won't you won't smell it. No, thank you. <laughs> It's bad Real enough. Good. I'll have to deal with gray pubes. Well, yeah, once what? you're once you're all <laughs> high on peyote, you won't even um you won't even notice the gray pubes. You won't even be able to see a hair, let alone crane your neck to see to see that far down. <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh shit! Hi, how you doing, buddy?" Yeah. Yeah, right. Be trying to like clip that gray pube and then you'll miss and then you'll nick yourself and then you'll be crying and like guys, bleeding. guys, guys, my gray pube is bleeding. <laughs> like that's what you call it? Yeah, what I, I <laughs> that's what you call it. Shit. It's hanging off by a thread. I'll be screaming like uh what what's his name on what's the name of that movie that I'm taking? Johnny Dangerously. Ah, 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 I'm standing here with my dork in my hand. <laughs> Yo, I love that movie, man. It's you great, right? Asshole. You fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. This is fucking war. That dude was hilarious, man. Yeah, Mark, Mark, Mark Coney. What was it? Yeah, Mark. I think it was some shit like that. But no, wasn't Mark Coney the guy he 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 worked for? No, my, yeah. Well, well Marconi was the uh, no, no. Marconi was the the uh, competitor, the other bad guy. You sure, I thought Marconi. So who, who was the name of the guy? I don't know how you remember these names. Oh, no, no, he worked. He worked. He worked for Dundee. Remember? Holy shit! Yeah, Jack I don't Dundee. Remember the name. I don't remember the names at all. Yeah, it was it was the Dundee clan or gang, <laughs> and uh, and uh, Mar yeah, you're Marconi. Crazy. You're crazy. Yeah. You are crazy. You crazy. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah, he was a man. Fucking Joe <laughs> Pistol. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't hang me on a hook. <laughs> My mother hung me on a hook once. 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 <laughs> that dude was funny. Oh, that is. I mean, this. I haven't seen that shit in years. I got it on file, man. <laughs> Shouldn't hang me on the hook. <laughs> My mother hung me on the hook once. I like when he uh, when he's on the, in that firefight. He's trying to get inside, and everybody's shooting at him, right? But then everybody's all 
telling him shit. He's like giving money out left and right. Especially oh, that yeah. fucking doormat. That fucking doorman. Oh, your mother's an angel. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, here yeah, you go. Irish Shut dude, right? Up. He was Irish. Yeah, he was Irish. He's all yeah, like, oh, here you. He's like, here you go, man. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get inside. <laughs> that shit was funny. I gotta watch that shit again. This it's is, like a this lot is of good sleeping music. Uh, uh. Have you should try to sleep to this tonight. <sighs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's elevator music. Come on. Well, yeah, what 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 do you say over here? Oh man, oh yeah, yeah. YouTube might take that one down if we uh had peyote. Maybe yeah, they have Maybe. like um a strict policy against like trying to obtain those type of things from YouTube, but I don't know about. No, no, they would not take it. it down because there, there's a there's a dude I follow actually that he'll fucking hit DMT on YouTube and then tell you his experience while he's on it. He does all types of shit and it tells you what it, how like how it goes while while he's on it on YouTube. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. So no, no, they wouldn't take it down. I'm sure we just have to be like real slick about what we call it or how we tag it or how we like go about it. <laughs> Indian mojo. Indian something, mojo. Something. Some shit. I had fun once. It was awful. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. That's not a knife. What's that from? What was that? Don't every time I hear that's not a knife, I think of crocodile dundee. dundee. Croco- yeah. It is, it is. It's from crocodile dundee. That's not a knife. That's this is a knife. You know, I didn't even realize it was St. Patty's Day till like really late in the day. And since I work from home and stuff, I didn't bother dressing yeah. in anything green or anything. And I didn't drink some green beer. Need some green beer, man. I need a I need a corned beef sandwich tomorrow. <laughs> that That's what that. I need. That, would that be a sounds good. Beef sandwich. That's what I used to do on on this t- at this time of year and all the places that I would get lunch from around where I work. And go to Tino's. Yeah, now I don't I don't like leave the house, so I don't get that stuff. Like how far is the closest lunch place to you guys? Oh, I could get to like a little lunch place, like um I could I could uh probably like sixty seconds in the car. Maybe like a minute thirty in the car. Really yeah. close. Yeah, they're all over the place, man. All over the place. You would think all we do oh, I but me and Kevin make special trips. Like we'll drive like thirty minutes to get like a certain sandwich. Like we don't care. That's and we saying. take our we own separate Nino's. cars. Like assholes. Well, I gotta go to Gross- well, Grossman's, right? Grossman's had some Grossman's. Yep. Grossman's had some shit. See, I might do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something. Grossman's had some shit. Dude, I'm I'm like in awe right now because my mother in law, God bless her soul, man, she had a <clears throat> she had her own bread maker. And uh, my uh, Kelly was opening boxes, right, to go through her mom's stuff. And uh, she found the bread maker. I was all like, oh, hell yeah. And now I can make some special bread uh, yeah. that's that's diabetic friendly. And I'll fucking make myself some hero sandwiches, man, like that. <laughs> yeah, why diabetic not? friendly heroes. Why Sick, not, yeah. bro? Bread made out of almond flour, bro. Why not? I got pinched today. <laughs> uh, I made it to the office, but not before I got pinched. That's that why makes... I got that, so I wouldn't get pinched anymore. Oh, shit. Nice. <laughs> like, fuck. Primal said he had his all his lights turned to green today and they had a green shirt. But that was the extent of the celebration. That was the extent of the holiday. <laughs> TK says, thanks for reminding me. I didn't even think about St. Patty's Day today. 
Wow. And up, it's bro? our it's our best friend Lori's birthday today. Happy birthday, Lori. If you Happy birthday, Lori. Oh, that's the joint right there. Oh, that was how I ended the video. Yeah. I well, I got some a... I got something green also. I don't know if y'all remember this. What is that? It looks like some He-Man shit. What is that? It is. That's some He-Man shit? Yep. <laughs> is that Man at Arms car? <laughs> Get the fuck yep. out of here. <laughs> wow, that was crazy. That was crazy how shit just stays in your brain. You don't even realize it. <laughs> yeah. Still rolling. You found Still that? Rolling. Yep. I got a couple of stickers Jeez. that fell off of it, but I got to put them. I'm going to glue them back on. It doesn't have all the stickers on it, unfortunately. It's too old. What a shame. That is fire. You got, man, you got figures? You got old school figures? I had some. Uh, I'm not sure where they all went or if I still have them or what. I know I still have, like, I used to have He Man, Battle Cat. I never got Skeletor and Panther. Those were going to be my next ones. But I, I had... had uh, I had Manny Stratos. Faces. That shit was the best. I had I had Stratos. I, had I don't, I don't that, remember Stratos. I had... Uh, well, let's see. He-Man, Battle Cat, Stratos, uh, Merman. I remember uh, Merman. Who else did I have? I had, think I had Cyclops. Um, I had quite a few. I think the only ones that... The only... I still have my Tila. I still got Tila. Um, uh, I think uh, I didn't have Men at Arms. I think I was going to get my next ones were to get Men at Arms and uh, Skeletor and Battle. Ca I mean, uh, Panther. And uh, I don't remember Panther either. Those those were going to be my next ones to get, but I never ended up being able to get them. And shit, just time just flew by so quickly. Never even had a chance. That's wild. Yeah. I think yeah. I had also that uh, that little gray dude. I forgot what his name was. That little springy dude. Orko, Orko was my guy. Orko, no, not Orko. I know, I know what springy no. guy you're talking about, but um, Orko yeah, he had the dude. armor, that armor, and he would bounce. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. I forgot his name. Hey Mundo, do you do you Ran, still he, like? He had like he would ram people. He was like he, he was like fucking yeah. Oh, yeah. With, fuck was his name? Ram something. <laughs> hey Mundo, do you still like collect any current day toys? Like any like hot like hot toys or anything that's like uh like a like a statue or, or like a posable figure type of thing? Do you buy anything or you just have stuff that is from your past? It's just all from my past, man. I mean, I still have some of my uh, uh, Hot Wheels stuff, man. Damn. Got Hot Wheels cars? I still got some of mine. And uh, of let's see. Shit. What else? Let's see. I got the Hot Wheels. I got. Uh, I still have a, probably a few action figures. Well, you know I still have some of the Voltron Lions. Um, um let me see. I, I mean, I'd have to look and see what all I have, still have. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy. I, I think I could probably be making some money right now on some of this stuff. Probably, yeah, you most likely can. Hell yeah, if you got everything still. Hell yeah. You got a battle cat? I have or I had. I'm not sure if I still have because I have his helmet. I, I still have his helmet, so... I know I have Battle Cat, but I don't know where he's at at the moment. I'm sure I'll have to find it somewhere. He might be in my, um, probably in my other shed that I have at the ranch. Hmm. Maybe. Got, I'll have to find out. You got a legit collection. Yeah. I really wish, though, I had bought, like, two of each figures, like, one to play with and one to keep. Cause, but at that time, you know, you really didn't know, you know, that they were going to be collector's items back Do you remember then. the, um, it was, I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was called, but it was, like, uh, He-Man Battle 
scar, whatever the fuck. And he had the chest piece that every time you hit it, like the scar got deeper and deeper. Oh yeah, yeah. That was the fake the oh, fake yeah. man. Like his whole body turned like, around. Like his yeah, whole body turned. I think it was called fake or, or something like that. What do you mean it was fake? It was what do you mean it was fake? Yeah, they called him Fake Or because he was like the fake copy of He Man. I don't remember that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I thought that was like I thought that was He Man. I thought it was He Man too. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I was a little kid. <laughs> no, yeah, because um, because in one of the stories, and if you remember watching the He Man cartoon uh, back then, um, Skeletor created a fake He Man, and so. To take the place of He Man and enter into Castle Grayskull and all that stuff. Nah, so nah. They, you you need you need your own fucking like podcast, bro. For real, like legit. You need your own podcast on like <laughs> old school shit, just to just to let everybody know what was going on. Do you remember it all? You remember it all? No, no, no. no. Just yeah. What was snippets. what was the 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 first leader of the Thundercats name? The old man. Oh, you know God. you fucking know. No, it, I don't. No, I don't. You do. Oh. Yeah, I knew that one. I knew that one. That's why I asked it. Yeah, you knew it. it. You just didn't want. You didn't want to fucking say. It. You didn't want to say. It. No, no. I, I. Yo, you know everything, bro. You know, you know at the moment, I couldn't remember it. You know everything when it comes to uh, like pop culture of the eighties. <laughs> That's if it pops in my head at the time. Shit. Pop culture, mundo. Uh. Telemundo. So I saw this <laughs> poll where you just get a random question and you answer. Today was, what's the worst way to go? And I thought I'd ask you guys opinions. Worst way to what's go? Worst way to die? Oh, I was the worst way to die? Well, what, 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 yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Um, that, that Primal says yeah. my answer was burning. burning. Yeah, yeah, fire. 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 fire was always my fucking worst. Mine is drowning. I heard drowning is like, you know, not as bad as we think. <laughs> oh, mean, yeah. Stupid as that sounds. Stupid as that sounds oh, like. Because who has proof of that? You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I mean there are so many I, ways I don't want to go, but I, I guess, don't want to uh, go. I don't. I, I don't want to go. Like yeah, like Kevin said, on fire or like being tortured. Those are yeah, two I don't ways wanna, I don't. Well, wanna. if I have to die, I'd love dying getting laid because I can come and go at the same time. Jesus. Christ, no, I want to. I want to die like. Um, standing in f- or stepping in front of bullets that are meant for somebody I love. Fuck good. out of here! Hell no. Depends what they did, but yo, what'd you do to deserve this, bro? <laughs> 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 like, why is this person trying to shoot you, man? Yeah, really. This is fucked up. What the fuck you do, bro? And probably goes anytime I see funkies of things I love, I go full grievous <laughs> and go and find a find addition, to addition to my collection. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, grievous had it right when he said that shit. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry right now. I cooked up a steak last night. It was like one a.m. I I cooked a steak. Was it amazing? It was really good, and I was like thinking, like, if I lay down to go to sleep, is this like gristle going to be like all my belly and stuff? It yeah, didn't, hell yeah. It didn't, it didn't stop me from going to sleep. I laid down. I felt better though. I felt good because I ate something, and I had just like it was kind of a gross dinner because I just had like a piece of bread, I toasted, and a steak. There was no vegetables or anything. It sounds like an amazing dinner. <laughs> yeah, really. But Ain't the steak no was like. Salted and and spiced up and like nice, I thought. Uh, that ain't no gross dinner, man. Shit. That shit sounds good. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> I guess it was just the the time that was gross and just the fact that I didn't have vegetables, but that's fine. It was delicioso. <laughs> delicioso. I saved a bit of the steak for today. I I ate steak and eggs. That was my breakfast. There you go. That's a good breakfast. You had a T-bone steak, cheese, eggs, and Welch's grape. Shoot, yesterday, no man, grape. we had yesterday. What was it? No, that was Saturday. A, that, was a, that was a Biggie Smalls line. I, I knew it must have been a, a lyric. 
That was Biggie Smalls, folks. Oh, Kev, I like the way that that like satellite thing is looking. I can see it pretty clearly. Yeah, it is. Nice. Yeah, this little area with the people floating around is gonna take forever. It's gonna take. It's taking longer than I thought it would. Yeah, you thought you were gonna be done with that page. Now you got a whole. Yeah, other I was, I was like, what the it. fuck? I'm, 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 I'm gonna fuck with it though. But before we come back on here, this is gonna be done. That's guarantee. That's a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> that money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's where it's at. There's a Louisiana guy, uh, Cajun guy on uh, on TikTok that uh, does nothing but Cajun food. Man. Yeah. Looks good as hell. Yeah. Looks good, man. He teaches you all kinds of good shit. Especially the uh, um, the crawfish. Crawfish. That's what you were going to say? Yep. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Oh, shit, bro. See what I'm saying? I was in tune, bro. It's called, it's called the, stale, the stale cracker. The stale cracker. That's what they call me at work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving that painting in the background, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Just we lost your feed up. unless unless you just clicked it off. Me? Yeah, well, you know, your drawing feed. I, oh, I it, like, might have did it die? Maybe it popped off. Yeah, it might have died. It's all good. But yo, I realized that um I can't have it charged. So I fucking I put the headphones in it so just to, to stop it from you know you can hear the audio. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. So so it died. So it died because it was just fucking going for two hours straight. It's all good. All good. Look, it's I focused the good. camera a little bit Focus. better. I think I Focus. think you could see it pretty sharply. Yeah, yeah, right. that looks good. Are you going in? Nice. So that's the last page I had to have to do for Albatross Junction issue number one, penciling wise. So that's good to get that get that going. And I think it's good that we have issue two like backed up against issue number one. So if this is like five pages or whatever it is of them walking down the hallway talking is too boring, at least you could go right into the second issue and see that fight with Dobbs and the Dybbuk. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to unpackage, though, so it's it's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's good shit. It's good shit. Oh, thanks, Primal. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, sir. Yeah, man. Most embarrassing. Kev, do you have a website? I think you said no, right? You have just your Instagram. Just, for just your my IG. Yeah, just my Instagram. Mm -hmm. And that's that's at K Scott Cosme. K S C O T T. C O S M E. Boom. Is that what you put? See, you got to put that as your name, as your tag right here in the Scott video. Cosme? Yeah, just so that people can get to your Instagram. Well, I did put it in the description. So all our info is in, in the description. Mundo's Instagram, yeah, right um, now, so Kevin's, um, Matthew's Diamond Dragon stuff is in there. Albatross Junction trailers and uh, Indiegogo links. Let me show you guys where we're at with the campaign before we roll out of here. You We've on. got, uh, let's refresh to see if anything changed. I think we got almost 50% of the yeah. goal. Um, and there's 18 days left. So I'll be uh, posting some stuff on Instagram, um, trying to push this like daily. And uh, we'll be back here on uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, as we always are, for Mundo Monday and New Comic Book Wednesday, drawing Albatross Junction. Hopefully, we'll be into uh, a lot more colors pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, we gotta, uh, yeah, we gotta go with the colors. Color, colors. Oh wait, colors. listen to this question. Um, Primal says, "Random question: Most embarrassing thing that's happened to you? Most embarrassing <laughs> thing." I had a I had a few embarrassing moments in my life, man. As far as childhood goes, 
there's two oh, childhood i got some funny ones <laughs> yeah ahead, yeah man. yeah but like let me hear you i first. remember um i was in a catholic school as a kid and they they picked me out just to do like they were doing like stations of the cross or some shit i don't know what the fuck they were doing so we i had to stand around like a circle around the, um while all the kids were sitting in church and shit like that and we were saying like hail mary's or the fuck so my turn came up to say a hail mary and i butchered that shit i was like hail mary full of god this and that, and I, I remember seeing like what threw me on my boy Eric. He was like, he looked at me like, 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 yo, are you fucking up right now? And I was like, I was looking at him like, and, I, and, and the shit that came out of my mouth was just had nothing to do with religion. And then, then I stopped and looked at the rest of the like the crowd and shit. And they, everybody was looking at me kind of crazy, but they went with the second half to like their response. Anyway, they were like, yeah, like Holy Mary, Mother of God, the Lord is with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they went <laughs> they, with the response, even though like along. my yeah. call was just all fucked up. And I just sat there like. Fuck, man, this is terrible. Well, they supported you, though, it sounds like. So that's okay. I mean, <laughs> it was just like, what else were they supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, say, oh, Kev, you fuck up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. And then there was another time, a freshman in high school, I fell on a fourth floor, which was like the, the packed cool floor. It was like a cool spot where everybody hung out. And I came, yeah. up the, I came up the steps freshman year, and there was something like in the doorway, and I, I bust my ass, boom. And like everybody was there looking at me, like, look at this fucking asshole. And I'm about to stood up, and I pushed some kid that was there. I was like, yo, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm trying to make it his fault. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck, man? You got to watch where you going type shit. And then, then yeah, and he was looking at me like, yeah, like, you, you fucking idiot. Like, you fell on your own, you fucking asshole. That shit was embarrassing. That's all I can Primal think of says, right now. Mine's probably when I told my crush I really liked her, and she, she didn't said. feel the same way. Yeah, definitely embarrassing night for me. Not well, embarrassing. It was yeah, you got it out there. Only, you got it out there. Only. Yeah, yeah, you got, you it. Did. You got it out, man. And it wasn't like in front of a, a full restaurant that you asked her to marry you and she said no. So it was like in private, it sounds like. Yeah, that's so not embarrassing, man. Not, not that that's bad. Not, yeah, that's not bad. Not that no, bad say, say the same thing to her sister. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> TK says the most embarrassing thing. I was banging this chick and she started <laughs> squirting on me and I never <laughs> knew that was possible before. Again, oh, another <laughs> another private <laughs> moment, oh so God. it doesn't sound too embarrassing. <laughs> and he got me to read that. He said, don't post that. He said, don't post that. <laughs> I didn't. Yo, I play didn't, TK's uh... intro for that one, please. Play TK's <laughs> intro for that one. I just scrolled down amazing. and read them. I didn't. Oh, I didn't my amazing. Holy shit. That was funny. My, uh... I, guess, I guess for me... I guess for me, because they found uh, some. Mine was innocent, I've, bro. Mine was innocent. I guess a family member found an old picture of me when I was like super young. I probably was like three or four. Buck naked with a cowboy hat and boots, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you were three or four. Oh, that's all good. If that's you were okay, like 13, yeah. that would have been hilarious. I, I was like this, like all happy and shit, man. That would have like, been hilarious. Really? Oh, you know what was fucked up? I, yo, I, I, I fucking black. Yo, I must have just like erased this from my memory, bro. Like, like, you know, my, my older brother's like 10 years older than me and shit like that. So we were playing Bad Habits. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Bad Habits. Like, you, let's play Bad Habits. So Bad Habits are whenever somebody curses, you get the fucking, you just get the whale on him until they say bad habit so yeah. he was fucking on the phone or some shit arguing with his girl or some shit like he's 10 years older than me so I'm, if i was 12 he was 21 like 21 22 at the thing. he's like he's like nine and a half years old than me. anyway he was on the phone yeah. with his girl arguing saying he said fuck this and fuck it whatever the fuck so i'm like 10 i don't know i'll just i just thought i just had it on him and his rib boom so fucking my pound boom boom he was like he was hurt he was like yo i can't what the fuck and i was like yo you didn't say bad habit so he was pissed off so he fucking he Took my pants off. He just took my pe pants. Took my pants off. I had a sweater on. He tied my sweater sleeves behind my back and then threw me outside on the porch, bro. Uh, <laughs> and I was just, I was on the porch like ah <laughs> ah. That shit was fucked up. I was like, that's fucked up. But was it really embarrassing that other people saw it or not really? Yeah, like it was. Uh, yeah, it was. There's a million people outside. Like, yo, there's camp, people the outside. Whoa, and I was like, yo, no. like yo, come take my like come unfucking tie my fucking sleeves, bro. I gotta get inside my house. I was fucked up, right? He tied oh my, my shit God. together, bro, and threw me on the did porch like that. Did y'all ever play that game where you go down the hallway in school and you knock your homeboy's nuts? Like, nah. Like, ah. That's fucked up. Oh, my God. In high school, <laughs> man. That, that I, happened in my I'm, school. I would be looking out for that, though. Like, my whole, my, all of my, my people, man, we'd be, like, notoriously after each other all the way 
in high school like that, right? You see somebody walking down the, you know, down the hallway, bah! Like, oh, fucking bitch. You know, and then you'd wait till like a certain time where they'd forget about it because they got you. And you wait and wait and then go right after him like when they least expect it. You, that, <laughs> oh my up. God. That was fucked up though. <laughs> that's fucked up. Now, that's a real reason that you hear about cock knockers this time now. Cock knockers. <laughs> bah! Bah, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> I think I think mine was oh, there, nice there was primal, actually nice a lot of people standing around, so it was it was embarrassing because I um, was probably how old was I thirteen or something, whatever you are in like maybe younger because you're like in seventh maybe you're in seventh grade or something like that, maybe sixth grade, maybe maybe yeah so like however you old are in like sixth grade, and um, there was like a, a kid bullying me on the bus. And the embarrassing thing was that um, he was one year younger than me, I think. Mm. And so that's a little embarrassing, right? So then we are getting ready to fight uh, after this goes on for I don't know how long. So this goes on for a little while. And I was like, okay, now it's time to fight. So we got off the bus and um, everyone else got off the bus too, as if like, it wasn't the normal people getting off the bus for that stop. It was like everybody that was on the bus got off because they wanted to see this fight happen. And then when I um, went up, I threw the first punch. Like I went up and punched this kid in the face and he laughed. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. And so there was a circle of people around um, that, that I don't know if they laughed. I'm sure they laughed. And uh, but it was embarrassing because everybody saw it, including my sisters. They were there Whoa. too because they, they were on the bus too. And um, but you know, it's like I almost have that kid to thank though because it's like um, after that I went home and started buying like, martial arts equipment and punching bag and stuff like that. And I started to like train, you know, because I was yeah, like, yeah, this ain't gonna have, happen like, again, bro. <laughs> this ain't gonna happen again. <laughs> So then became the Jedi training. Yeah, so then uh, I almost have him to think because otherwise I wouldn't have maybe seeked out trying to trying to become dangerous, you know? Yo. For I'm, me, I'm I, got, I got jumped show, by six guys. For me, I got jumped by six guys. That's why. You did? Yeah. That's embarrassing? Yeah. That's not tragic, bro. It's not embarrassing. That's not embarrassing. Yeah. Nah, I mean... I, I got a couple of shots in, but no. Yeah, I think so it was embarrassing for like for like my friends when I got jumped, um, because it was right in the hallway, and of the school at the time when everyone's at their locker, and the lockers next to me were like I had at least one or two friends right there, um, and I got there was like thirty kids come up from behind me, and you know how. Um, in high school, like you play that, people would play that game where you like tap on someone's shoulder and you like look and, and they're not there type of thing. Yeah. So I thought that was what was happening because like someone tapped on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I don't even think I looked at first. And then like another tap happened. So I like turned around and there was like 30 kids behind me, uh, led by this one kid who started punching and kicking me. And then they all started punching and kicking me. Yeah. And um, I went down to my knees and there was kicks coming in like from my, on my head and kicks coming in on my belly and stuff like that. And um, afterwards, um, the teachers came and took us to the to the dean's office. But after that, I asked the friends, I'm like, what the fuck happened there? Like there was 30 motherfuckers kicking me and punching me and you guys didn't do shit. And then they're like, oh, but uh. It happened so quick. Like we couldn't do anything. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I, I they they landed like like three hundred hits. Yeah. That's right. fucked up. I thought that might have been embarrassing for them, right? Because it's like, what the fuck? Like you guys couldn't do shit. You're just standing there frozen. What the well, fuck? Yeah, really. Well, I mean, that <laughs> that's pretty sad. You know, what what's really sad is that that person who, who started jumping you has to have 30 people behind him to yeah. fight one person. To me, that's a fucking piece of shit. Because you know, that person can't fight. If you got to have people back your ass up. 
That's true. And like everybody that he had behind him was like, um, was like inconsequential as far as like being backup. You know what I mean? It was just like the number of people that mattered there. It seemed like there was like a lot of people, but they weren't any, like any two of them at a time I could have taken, but like 30, no, not, not, not 30. Nah, I mean, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's bullshit. I mean, come on, you know, you make it a fair fight one on one. You know, if you get your ass whipped, you get your ass whipped. But if you know, you don't. Thing is, don't have somebody else come and back your ass up because you can't fight. I mean, it's like fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like damn. Primal yeah, you know, I mean, is on his way out of here. Have a good night, Primal. Thanks for being here. Good night, have Primal, a good one, bro. I think that's probably why I fit it so well with the Looney Bit people. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, backing up a little bit, though, TK said my flow was soaked, by the way. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, it's good for you, bro. Good for you. You did your that's job you well, TK. That's that's you, you did your job well. well. Wrap it up. That's how you get her done. That's a that's a good one, TK. Yeah, man. <laughs> You've done your job well. If you can make it do that. <laughs> All right, Get Kevin. Do you man. do you think you have any time or uh, have any desire to do uh, any desire, kind of desire? The will, the desire. One man, <laughs> one desire. Did you get any Amazon order in for comic book bags and boards? Or are you still? Get, still gotta get. Yo, that. I, I just got that shit today. What the fuck? I promise you, I just got it today. I ordered a hundred or some stupid. I told shit you like I that. was looking at you through the window. I texted him earlier. I got that shit today, bro. <laughs> and you know, I got I got home late. I got home late, and it was all it was on the table for me. I was like, oh shit. But I, then I was gonna mention. It. I was like, let me not even fucking mention. It. I'll just I'll just mention it, you know, in conversation. And you fucking asked me this specific question. That's crazy. Because you know, we could either do another one of these uh, one videos man. before Monday, or we one could do like designer. a comic book comic book uh bagging video I mean, i'm down right i'm there. down we'll, we'll um do either or all right we'll do we'll do I'm something down. like over the weekend or uh one man <laughs> one <laughs> on design. a mission he's on a mission let's do it let's do it all right cool well we will see you guys uh next time we are going to do uh, another show before mundo monday uh, join us on Mundo Monday every Wednesday as well. New comic book day. And uh, thanks for being here tonight. Thanks for watching us draw, listening to yes, us. Yes, sir, uh, fellas. Ramble. Always a good time, man. Always a good always, time. Always, always, guys. Yeah, Mundo, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, guys. It's always a pleasure and a blast hanging with you guys. Always, awesome. Always, thank always, you, always, Kevin. Always. Thanks for being here and doing all the work. And uh, we will see you next time. Yes, sir. Don't forget to right, subscribe uh, to our other channel too, Comic Book Creations. This is Comic Book Creation Live. Go to Comic Book Creation as well. There's two channels. And uh, we will see you next time. All right, y'all. Peace. This night, a new power is rising. Its victory is at hand. Thank you.